Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem recursive digits sum from lead code. Very interesting problem. Let's get started to it. We have to return something called the super digit. What is a super digit? Let's try to understand it. Suppose we have a number 9875. How do we find the super digit of it? There are just two steps. First step is add all the digits. Second step is do this step again and again. So 9875 has digits 9, 8 and 7 and 5. We add all the digits. 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 5 gives us 29. Then we add the digits of 29. 2 plus 9 gives us 11. Then we add the digits of 11. 1 plus 1 gives us 2. Finally 2 is a single number so we can just return back 2. 2 is your super digit. How do you solve this problem? It's a simple recursion problem. That's how we are going to solve it. Now, uh, let's take another example. Here you have 9875, but it's repeating four times. So you can see that it has been repeated four times. So that is your K value. K means how many times it is repeating. So you have to do the same thing. Just add all the digits. You get 116. And then you have to add the digits of 116. Okay. 1 plus 1 plus 6 gives 8. 8 is what you can finally return. So how are we going to do this question? So let us try to write the code to understand this. The first thing that you have to do is you have to, you know, add the digits up. Okay, and then do the recurs recursion. So how can we add the digits up? You can notice that a string is passed to us. So you have to extract the digits. Extract digits, okay, from character. So actually character value is going to be passed to you. You have to make it to integer value. So let's first declare a uh, number. Okay, so int number is what we are going to do. Uh, means add all the digits. So let us declare something called number and it is initially zero. Now how do you extract the digits? So for character x in n. n is the input that is passed to you as a string, right? So it is consisting of characters. So for all the characters that are in n, you can just extract the digits from here and add them all up so i'm giving number plus equal to because i want to add all the digits also so i can do x minus 48 48 is the ascii value of zero so x minus 48 will extract it to an integer if you don't do this you will run into a problem because let's say your character okay let's say x is equal to three if you don't do this okay you will actually add 51 because the ascii value for 3 is 51 if but you have to add 3 right you have to just add the value of the date so if you do 51 minus 48 you will get back 3 so that's how you're going to extract the integer value from the character value and then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply it by k the number of times that it is repeating and then you can return back whatever your recursive function is going to return. So we are going to call a recursive recursive function and whatever that returns, we'll return it back. So we'll pass the number in this recursive function and I have not yet declared the recursive function so I should do that here. By the way, I have given number as integer but there can be cases where it's going to be a very very large number so let me declare long long int otherwise your all the test cases will not pass even though the logic is right you need to consider the extreme test cases also so let's do that let's say int function and let's take the input long long number now we are going to do all our uh, you know logic in this function what shall we do so first is the base case when do you return right when do you return so you return when you get a single digit. So that is what we are going to do. So if your number has become greater than or equal to 0 and it is less than or equal to 9, you can simply return your number. You have reached the super digit. Otherwise, what can you do? Otherwise, you have to okay do the same thing. So extract digits and all function again so how are you going to extract it let's say we have a variable long, long sum equal to zero that's going to extract the digits for us so now we have the number right and no we have to extract the digits from this number again so how to extract the digits so it's actually simple you take the last digit and remove the last digit take the next last digit remove the last digit so let's see what is what is that so what I mean by that, so sum plus is equal to n o mod 10, n o equal to n o by 10. 
so this is going to be your simple logic you can even give it something like this if you want to write it in the short form so what we are doing okay let's say we have number which is one two three so what are we doing we are taking the modulus so mod if you do mod 10 of one two three you will extract three and then what you are doing you are dividing the number by 10 so you will be left with 120 uh, with just 12 okay you take the integer value alone you will be left with 12 so now you have 12 you extract the next digit you will be extracting 2 and then your number will become 1 now you will extract 1 and then your number will finally become 0 and when it becomes 0 you can exit the loop so this is how you are going to extract the digits and once you have extracted the digit you have to just do nothing but just pass it again in the recursive call so let us do that so let us pass it again and you can give a return statement so whatever this function returns right that all the function calls will be returning that and they will be returning it back to our main function so i hope that this will work let us run and see if it is going to work there is a compilation error n was not declared in the scope great I have given a spelling mistake. Let me just correct that. So, yes, it was even flagging it. That's the good thing about Hacker Rank. It even flags it to you. So you can have that feature. Again, there's a compilation error. Okay, great. I have not commented out a few things. So I was explaining this. I should have commented it out. Uh, so this is fine now. And let's run and see if it's working fine so it's fine I think we can submit and see if all the test cases are passing hopefully they should pass we have also taken care of the edge cases by declaring everything as long so yes all the test cases are passing and thank you for being patient and listening